What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be taking a look at the strangest thing we've seen about Pokemon Sword and Shield so far which may actually make fusion Pokemon canonical. Meaning that you could fo fuse Pokemon in the game. So every piece of non-official but accurate pre-release information that we have covered so far leaks have been just about pokemon themselves and exactly what they are this however goes over a few lines of text that are in the game that would lead us to believe that there is going to be fusion of pokemon if you have no idea what i'm talking about that's absolutely fine let's go ahead and bring up the text on screen before we jump into this the uh exact sentences that are in the game may be considered a spoiler however everything else past just the text is going to be pure speculation fossils and galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason huh also, we can see that this is a wild area. There's a tent on the right hand side. Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Let's do this entire video with the dome and the helix fossils since I'm sure all of you are very familiar with what those two Pokemon are. The dome fossil and the helix fossil. Now I'm pretty good at Photoshop myself, so let's go over this. Here we have the Helix Fossil, which gives us Ammonite, and the Dome Fossil, which gives us Kabuto. And what they're saying is, is the top half and the bottom half of the fossil are separated. Also, I changed these to the 8-bit sprites instead of the official artwork. For the Helix Fossil, I chopped out the top of the Helix Fossil, and I put it over here. And I chopped out the top of the Dome Fossil, and I put it over here. Now even though these are just the base, there is genetic DNA and makeup inside of there. So in theory, the top half and the bottom half for Helix Fossil still give us Ammonite, and the bottom half and the top half of the Dome Fossil still give us Kabuto, right? Now the weird part is this text says strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they could be restored together. So if you were to take the top of the Helix Fossil and combine that with the bottom of the Dome Fossil, you would get what exists here. Likewise, if you were to combine the top half of the dome fossil with the bottom half of the helix fossil, you would get what exists here. Some of you may be familiar with the website called Pokemon Fusion. That's what you would get. <laughs> Again, pure speculation with Ammonite and Kabuto here, but this essentially has genetic makeup of both Ammonite and Kabuto. The top half of Ammonite and the bottom half of Kabuto. Here we see Ammonite's shell and actual feet and we have Kabuto's eyes and Kabuto's colors. And here we have the top half of the dome fossil of Kabuto and the bottom half of Ammonite. We have the body of Kabuto but with the eyes and mouth part and color of Ammonite. This, I'll admit, is a little far-fetched. We could be reading into this completely and it means absolutely nothing. Or it could mean exactly this. More likely, it will mean something similar to this, but with new Pokemon. As in, there's going to be two new fossils that restoring those Pokemon then give us four completely new different Pokemon, which I think is pretty awesome. Like if this is exactly what that means and there is fusion of Pokemon now canonically in the game of fossil Pokemon, I should say, you're not going to be able to combine the genetic makeup of Pikachu and Charmander because if you did, it'd be the most powerful Pokemon in the world. I just think that I don't know about you guys. When I was a kid and I was in school, I don't know, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, I would theorize stuff like this. Keep in mind this is before high speed internet and smartphones and everything. And like, I would have a notepad and I would start drawing out my own Mario Kart tracks. And then I would list Sonic as characters and crazy stuff like that. And I would fuse Pokemon just like this. And the idea that this is actually going to be in the game coming out in less than two weeks has got me giddy like a schoolgirl. So from here on out, we're gonna be taking a look at more fossil fusions, cause why not? So evolving Ammonite and Kabuto, we get Amatops, which don't know how I feel about that. And Kabustar, I think the face got a little messed up, but other than that, I like it. Now, what if you were to do Aerodactyl? Oh, that's weird. That's even more weird. Not mad at that. I'm mad at that. <laughs> <laughs> Not as funny. Not as funny. Who knows? 
Maybe this is a real thing. Guys, I want to know your thoughts as far as these lines of text and if we are getting fusion fossil Pokemon. It'd be cool if they did it with the Gen 1s, but Gen 1 pandering, so they may just do it with brand new Pokemon altogether. Either way, I'm still excited to see, or they'll do it with all the Pokemon. All of them. Uh, guys, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you're seeing all my videos. Hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin Sean out.